Welcome back to another Total War Warhammer 3 Mod Spotlight video by Dosbear. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Dwarf Faction, specifically the Dawi Gunpowder Units mod. This mod has 38 units total. It adds tanks, missile cav, missile infantry, weapons teams, artillery, and last but not least, turrets, which I think are a really interesting choice. I'm super excited to get into that. But before we do, speaking of Warhammer, if you head down in the description, you can click on the link to Instant Gaming where I have a giveaway going on and also the gaming website. And you can check out Space Marine 2, which is upcoming and about to release. I'm super excited about this game. I'm a huge Warhammer fan and Warhammer 40k fan. Uh, altogether, I plan on getting this and it gives you a discounted price on their website, especially compared to Steam. So it is beating Steam's price if you want to pre-order or if you want to get it after the fact. Just head down to the link below in the description. Now back to the full video, our first section is going to be the turrets, and we're looking at the 8mm turret here. This is the smallest one, and obviously the way these work is you place them down, they don't move, and they just stay there and open fire on any enemies that come nearby. Um, I really like this idea, because considering the dwarf's faction is more of a defensive playstyle, I actually really enjoy this idea of having turrets on the map, and there actually is, I believe, a couple units that can put turrets down and build them, uh, or summon them, I guess you would say. We're now moving up to the 20 millimeter turret, obviously a little bit larger, but you actually get more barrels on this. It's a complete upgrade uh, across the board, in my opinion, and it looks really cool. I will say I did my best to catch combat for every unit in this mod, but there are some that slipped through the cracks. So don't be surprised if you see a couple that did not have combat associated with it. I've got to say this is probably becoming one of my favorite modders because I feel like he's always thinking outside the box for his creations and like these turrets are very unique. Next up we have one of my favorite units in the mod, which honestly I was surprised for it to be a turret, but a Gatling turret, mainly because I like the design for the Gatling gun, like a whole lot. Uh, later you're going to see this, they put it, he puts it on a tank, and I think it looks really good on the tank form. Some of the tanks need work, but overall I just really like the design of this. I will say though the animations don't exactly line up perfectly. Um, the, the rounds don't come out from the barrel exactly where they should, but it still looks really really good. Everybody likes rockets. I mean, it just kind of makes sense. Later, you're going to see this on a tank as well, and there's actually an additional rocket that you see in the beginning of the video that's on that tank too, which is larger. But yeah, overall, pretty much just a uh, rocket launcher that's at a turret format. Um, it looks really good. I think it serves a purpose, and I think this would be a nice addition to any defensive player that's looking to add some spice to their artillery. Next up, we're going to have the Dark Fire Laser Turret. And this was actually, it fires so fast, it was kind of hard. Like, I really had to know when it was going to attack for me to get a good recording of it. Um, and the effect of it firing up close isn't that great, but when you mute it range, it's really awesome. But yeah, this, this thing does uh, a lot of damage, has really good fire, uh, really good firing effects. And overall, I really like this unit. I just wish the animation was maybe a little bit better for it on the tank format. The tank format was kind of hard to record. And now the biggest guns possible on these turrets, besides the rockets, is going to be this triple cannon turret. Uh, obviously missile strength is high, range is really good, and it's just, uh, it's there to deal damage. This thing is going to crush monster units. Uh, a lot of these units are really focused, I feel like, toward individual monster units or heroes or lords. 
but they're definitely gonna do some massive damage on that front, so the Dwarf faction will feel pretty overpowered when fighting the Chaos factions. Remember how I said that I put a lot of effort into getting every unit recorded? Well, this was one of the ones I did not uh, get recorded for combat. I just didn't have the quality there on the recording, so I decided to scrap it. And obviously, it's Storm Goats with pistols, and you can imagine what they do in combat. I just had a hard time getting certain units to fire when they should, and it was really frustrating. So I'm not sure if it's a mod issue with this unit, or if it's more of a issue with the map I chose. We have some more Storm Goats, but this time they have Cinder Blast Launchers. Um, I, any, you know, grenade launchers are always, to me, a good idea. Um, and so, I can see you microing these around. I had an easier time recording combat with them and getting them to fire and move around. Some units, when you move them, they just did not, even though they, they didn't want to really move fast, they didn't want to, like, take commands very well and fire right afterwards. It took a long time for them to set up to fire. But this was a really good unit. I think it does good damage, and I think it serves a purpose. Now we're at our last cavalry unit, the Iron Hog Volleys. And these guys, their they're, they're they're projectile like travels so fast across the map. Um, overall, I like the design of these guys. Obviously, they have a better mount, so you can also use them with melee and charging. Um, their charge bonus isn't bad, and the unit seems like it can last pretty well in combat. So they're, they're a good ranged option and also good for using as just plain cavalry, in my opinion. We are now at the artillery section, and we have the Thunder Lobs. Uh, this here is pretty much what you expect, your basic mortars. Um, there's going to be four of these in your unit, and you're going to have four mortar rounds hitting. Overall, does a really good design. Uh, there's a higher level one later that's a single unit that's a mortar, and it's a long range mortar, but man, does it do damage. But I like this unit overall. Um, it's not too over the top, and to me it serves a purpose. Another really interesting choice for artillery here, storm bolt launchers. Think of giant crossbow bolts, except they're put on these platforms with rocket powered. So they have the speed of like a rocket, but they're gonna fire in groups and unisons, they're not gonna explode. So they're mainly doing piercing damage and just hitting. Uh, but I feel like against heroes, lords, monsters, these things would be great. Next up we have the Iron Storm Battery, which is a three barrel artillery piece. And I really like the look of this, I like the design of this. The only thing I wish is when the rounds actually hit, they had a little bit more flash, a little bit more pizzazz. Um, I feel like these are a little lacking on that front. But the unit itself looks really good, like the design of it, the way it fires, I think it looks phenomenal. It's just the impact is kind of lackluster on these. Ooh, this unit right here is a really cool unit. Rain, fire, mortars. I like the effect of these, and it, 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 it's named so accurately, like, like rain, fire. Like it, the effect on this looks really good. Um, overall, big fan of this. And it's not really overpowered in my opinion with the missile strength. You know, it, it doesn't seem like it took a lot out, but I mean, it did, it did okay. And just the way it fires, the fact that it comes from so high above, I really just enjoyed this unit overall. When I seen this unit, I really thought that it was just going to be like 
epic. Like, just like, oh man, when this thing hits, it's gonna, you know, a big explosion, something, you know. But seeing it fire, I was kind of like, oh, that's it. So yeah, the Mountain Breaker, it fires a ginormous cannonball that pretty much just does impact damage. There's not really any explosion with it. So, I mean, if you were using this, I guess, maybe against a gate or a large monster unit, it would probably be really great. Um, but yeah, I just wasn't that impressed with the overall visual on it. This unit's actually not that big, but it's the strongest unit, probably in this mod, to be honest. This, this unit's crazy powerful, and it has a crap ton of units with it. Um, there's a whole lot of dwarfs behind it, like way more than you think would be necessary for this artillery piece, but man, does it do damage, and it does such a wide range of dam damage. And on top of that, the range is 800 on this. The missile strength is 667. This thing is overpowered. We're finally at the tank section, and first up we have the Anklid It 20 millimeter. And these are tankettes. There's gonna be four in a unit, then they're really small, or as the dwarf would say, uh, cozy, very cozy size. Um, looking at this bush here on the right, you can tell they're about uh, two to three bushes high, somewhere in that range, or maybe the height of like two dwarfs. Um, so yeah, they're, they're cozy in size, uh, they're small. But overall, these are kind of a hit and run unit. Next up, we're gonna have the Ankled Barag M1 ammo carrier, which is gonna be carrying all the ammo for your tank units, uh, which burn through ammo very fast in this mod, and also your artillery pieces, so you can replenish those. I think it serves a really good purpose, and I like the units on the back of it, kind of like adding aesthetic and purpose. I just think overall, it's a good design on this unit. Now, even a better designed unit, the Anklag Barag M1 Brewmaster's Beer, because the dwarfs never would go into combat without having beer at the ready. Um, this unit can heal, so pretty much heal nearby units, and I like the design even more than the last one, because the fact that the dwarfs on it all have mugs, um, it's just a really, really good looking design. I even had to get a close up here for everyone, but yeah, probably one of my favorite units in this mod. Now we have the Anklid Barag M1G1, and I think this unit actually needs a little bit of work from the modder. The fact that the cannons come like pretty much clip through each other, maybe he could just go back to this unit on the drawing board, maybe try to either raise the turrets higher to where they go over each other like a battleship would, um, or lengthen the unit a little bit more to have room. I just feel like this unit needs a little bit more work for it to look good stationary and static. But overall, I mean, this unit has a whole lot of firepower, and it's really cool. When you need some self-propelled artillery, you're going to have the Anklad Barag M1G2, which has a mortar on it and rockets, and still has its front cannons. Um, so overall, it just packs a whole lot of damage into a small space, and you can have this go around the battlefield traveling laying down fire to all types of enemies. I told you that Gatling gun would show back up. This is the Anklad Barag M1G3, which has two front uh, cannons, and also you have your big Gatling up top, and then you have cannons on the side as well. 
This thing also puts out a whole lot of firepower and it burns through ammunition fast. That ammo unit from earlier is very, very needed to support these units and to keep them in the fight for a long period of time. But man, these units, if used correctly, really change the battlefield. Another big time heavy hitter, the Anklad Barag M2 Rocket. This thing has two front cannons, and then on top of that has the three smaller rockets we've seen earlier on the turret, and then one large rocket, which does a very large effect area of damage. And overall, I really like the look of this unit, and when it hits in combat, like these missiles actually look good when they hit the units. Hands down, he should not change anything on this. Keep it the way it is. It's fantastic. This is another unit I feel like the modern needs to take a little bit closer look at um, for the turrets up top just to make it look better. They're all clipping into each other extremely heavily. Um, so I feel like they just need a little bit more work to make it look right. But yeah, they're pretty much uh, the laser turret we've seen earlier, but on the tank form. So these all fired lasers and it does great damage. It's just really hard to look good in combat with it. So if you don't zoom in, you're probably never gonna notice it. But if you stay zoomed out, it's probably gonna look really awesome because it just destroys a lot. This is the only change to the hero units in this mod. This is the Master Engineer, and this is his mount. There's actually another version of this as well, but this is the highest tier one. And you see here he has his large cannon up top and his smaller one. And this unit has pretty good mobility and has a really extendedly long uh, firing range uh, whenever it starts firing. So like firing uh, duration, I guess you'd say. We're saying goodbye to the tanks and hello to the weapons teams. We have the Dwarf Heavy Gunners with their 20mm hand cannons, hand machine guns, just ready to go. Uh, really like the look of this unit and really like them just laying down fire upon their enemies. Um, there is another version of this which has the smaller 8mm as well. But overall, these are just really well designed and honestly kind of makes sense with this mod. Last little tidbit, I like the fact that last unit has a big hammer they pull out for combat. I think it's kind of a cool little touch. Uh, here we have the 8mm guns and different design on them. And just overall, I think the modder went a really good direction with how these units look with their weapon systems. And it just kind of makes sense. I mean, they, they look good and the backpack, the little, the little details he put in really make this mod stand out. Now these don't have perfect animations when they fire, but it's pretty good. Um, obviously they just fire a whole lot of rockets downstream and do a whole lot of damage with them. And it's real pretty to look at just overall, but you can tell kind of see when the rockets come out, it's not perfectly lined up, but it still looks really good. So this is a unit maybe that could have a little bit more work and it might not even be fixable. This might be something that's just the best that can be done with a mod.
I really enjoy that the modern names of units like So on the Nose, <laughs> the Hailstorm launchers literally rain down hail upon their enemies. And you'll see here in a second, the uh, projectile will air burst in the air and then rain down upon the units. So it hits a good amount. It's really good against infantry and it hits a large cluster of units at once. Overall, I really like the effect on this and the design. And you can see here they have anti-air rockets and anti-infantry rockets. So they have two different rounds that they can uh, equip on there. So I thought it was kind of cool. This unit here is firing pretty much a extremely hard hitting rocket. Just think of like the RPG of the age. It's designed to pierce thick armor and go through enemy tanks and also maybe huge monster units with a lot of armor. Uh, this unit's going to be good against monster units, good against large units, heroes and lords even, I would say. Or maybe even just infantry units that are very reliant upon their armor. Um, this unit's going to be really good against them. Um, I like it overall and it's not too flashy. I think it's just kind of a good unit. These guys right here uh, in the missile infantry category that we're now in, man, they really put out the damage is all I'm going to say here. Uh, they have really good range, um, so they're well, pretty good range. They do, to me, really good damage, um, and then their stats are just really, really good. I like the look of this unit, and I like that the barrels kind of line up with the projectiles, so I like that the modder put the work in to make everything kind of match up to be uh, accurate to the unit. This unit here is similar to the last one, except it doesn't have that fire effect. But it does fire extremely fast projectiles. They, like, haul across the map at really fast speed when they hit their units. Um, so overall, really good design on these, and their fire rate's pretty good. Range is good. Um, this is just, a, to me, a really top-tier, you know, range unit. And I don't, I mean, obviously it is overpowered, but I don't think you're going to be wielding a massive number of these in the campaign. So I think it's kind of a good balance. Obviously, these are a more uh, basic missile infantry unit here, uh, firing a single round and then reloading. They have an axe on the end of their weapon, so they do have the ability to fight up close if need be with melee defense and melee attack stats. Pretty okay. Um, just overall, good-looking unit. I like the blue on these. Kind of stands out from the rest. This does kind of stand out from the rest of the mod, but I still think it serves a purpose and looks really good. Slayer Pirates are always a big W, and here we have them again with the gun axes, and the difference is on this one, when they fire, it actually fires kind of like a shotgun, so it fires multiple projectiles, but they have a little bit better range, but they do spread out, so they're not very accurate, as you're going to see, but overall, I mean, it just looks good. I mean, I just, I like the design of this unit anyway, so it just kind of makes sense. We're now getting into the close quarters infantry, which are a lot of pistols and shields. Uh, but obviously, it looks good. You know, the dwarves are like, okay, bring it in close. We like to fight up close anyway. Uh, melee attack, melee defense stats aren't terrible. Um, they're pretty good. Has pretty okay range for being a pistol. And obviously, they don't do a whole lot of damage with their pistol. But I just honestly like the aesthetics of this unit. Um, and this is the lower tier version. There's a better one here in a bit. This is one of those units I was telling you about that can actually deploy turrets. So here you can deploy the 8mm, the 20mm, or the and the uh, triple cannon. And also repair turrets and actually heal those back up. So it's kind of like your engineer squad, your combat engineers, it says here in the de definition. But yeah, they kind of serve their purpose. And I like that you can kind of add a turret where needed in the middle of combat. 
Um, so these are very useful in my opinion. Okay, now we're at the high tier close quarters infantry, the Gromriel Guard. Uh, you have a better pistol on these guys, better armor, better shield. I mean, that flag bearer guy looks ready to roll. I'm just saying, if I'm attacking, I'm not wanting to mess with that guy in the center. Um, overall, though, great, you know, gold design on this. I really, really makes the dwarfs proud, I can tell. And the pistol does really good damage, in my opinion. Like, it hits pretty good. Another unit here that can deploy turrets. This one does the Drac Fire Laser Turret, the Gatling Turret, or the Rocket Platform. Um, so obviously here, you kind of serve the other side. So they have two different engineers that can deploy different turrets. This is the higher uh, level one or tier one. So it can deploy the higher tier turrets, if that makes sense. So yeah, really versatile, probably extremely useful for how much damage they can actually put out with the turrets they put down. The next part is actually just going to be some melee footage of these units in combat. Enjoy it. Just a reminder, if you haven't done it yet, down in the description is a link to the mod and also a link to Instant Gaming where if you want to get the new Space Marine game, Space Marine 2, you can go there and pre-order it and grab it for yourself. I will see all of you on the battlefield. Hey guys, you've made it to the end of the video and I just want to say a huge thank you for checking out this mod spotlight. As always, the link to this mod is going to be down in the description for you to go check out for yourself. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and I will catch all of you on DOSBear's next mod spotlight.